Hey, Funnel Builders, how are you doing? This is going to be a tricky conversation to have, but I think the majority of you are probably wasting time speaking to the wrong people too frequently. The reality is, if you aren't critically protective of your time, other people will leech into it. And I think it's really easy for us to start having conversations with people based around, hey, do you mind if I just pick your brains? There's a real problem right now with being able to be kind of, uh, you know, contacted 24 hours a day via your phone and email and other people encroaching on your time. I get this all the time. I get people on LinkedIn consistently saying to me, hey, Mike, I was just wondering if we could get, you know, 10 minutes together, pick your brains. And it comes from two perspectives, of course. There's people who might want to sell me something and there's people who genuinely might be a customer. The problem is, even people who potentially could be a customer, I'm not that willing to give my time away for free or that easily. I would rather know that it's going to go somewhere. And this might be kind of brutal. And a lot of people watching this will know how I kind of behave and conduct myself. But with your business as well, even people who think, well, this could be a potential lead. Don't be so quick to jump into having conversations with them. If you aren't having conversations with people who fit your budget, have needs that you can, you know, satisfy or, or acquiesce, if they're not the authority or the decision maker, if they're not look, looking to do it within a time scale that's relevant, if they're not currently looking to use or currently using other suppliers, these are usually pretty good indicators that they're actually just time wasters. In another video, I talked about what most people are really looking for is free advice. They'll jump onto a call with you because they say, oh, I'd love some free advice. And you obviously want to sell them something. The way to get past this is to start qualifying people more consistently and qualifying them more frequently. Even if someone says to me, oh, I'd love to jump on a call with you just for 10 minutes, see what you see, what you're up to, see what it is that you do. I'm like, I've got a YouTube channel, I've got a blog, I've got a podcast, I've got a book, I've got a Facebook group, I've got a full website, I've got video sales letters, I've got interviews. What, how, what more do you need to know about what I do? And the reason I'm saying it like this is because most of you don't have the, um, the sheer volume of content that I've got. So if you can imagine that someone is willing to just pick my brains just to understand a bit more about me and my business, Imagine what you guys have to put up with. Imagine how frequently you have to have people coming to have a conversation with you. Don't give your time away for free. If you're having conversations with anyone and everyone, you are wasting a lot of money. Have, start having some qualifiers and some identifiers as to the types of relationships and the types of calls you would like to have with people. Yes, some people are going to think you're rude. That is par for the course. That is how the world works you are going to have to get comfortable knowing that some people are going to think you're rude. I get it pretty regularly. People thinking that I am think too highly of myself. And I'm like, I get 24 hours in a day. Maybe four of those I'm able to do something valuable with to grow the business. We've got five people on my team now, plus a mortgage, plus a wife. Like I have a lot of, and everyone has responsibilities. I'm not saying I'm special. I'm saying everyone has responsibilities. So to give part of those responsibilities in the way of having to make sure that all those things are okay away to someone because they want some free time or some free advice for 10 minutes and have the irony to call me selfish, it looks like that they've sort of self-qualified themselves and it probably wasn't a relationship that I wanted to, to continue with. So start being more brutal with your time. If people have questions if people want to jump on a call with them say yeah by all means jump on a call with a 10 minute qualification or a 10 minute triage call or don't call them that because then they'll know but say to them yeah we have these 10 minute one-on-one -on -one calls and just ask them questions and qualify them and if it sounds like it's something worth pursuing then pursue it you do not have to have a conversation with every single person who deems it necessary to jump into your inbox if you guys want to ever brainstorm any of the top three problems that are preventing you from doubling your revenue by all means please just put i'm in or yeah i'd love to jump on a call in the comments down below or head to go.sellyourservice.co.uk forward slash freedom and we'll book you in if there are any spaces in the meantime guys let me know how you protect your time i'd love to know because if you don't protect your time and manage it someone else will and they'll put it towards their goals in the meantime i'll speak to you later have a fantastic rest of your day have courage commit and take action bye guys